Hello, good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, everyone of the world. I am Stuff of Funny One Two Anime here, or I'm a sign Stuff Funny One Two Anime. This is a video of learning, like, Road to uh, Shy Girl Read Along and Elf Island Read Along, my fantasy manga, and RE4. Road to RE4 Remake. So today I'm be discussing something entirely different, but it's the road to those three things. Let's get into it. I'm turning the volume down first. This video will be explaining how I ended up to be Lazy Gaming 7780's friend. Go check them out on Xbox or PlayStation. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the topic, shall we? Lazy Gaming 778. Well, who is he? I met him in 2016 on Zombies in Spaceland of one particular game that became the popular Infinite Warfare. Well, before I met Lazy Gaming, I was kind of a no one. <laughs> Had terrible grades in middle school and all that shit. I'm doing great now, by the way, guys. Anyways. Before all that, or I should say, after all that, I met him on Xbox, which we're still friends to this day. Uh, when I first met him, I was like, hmm, this guy seems cool, and he turned out to be a really nice friend. Well, let's just say I had a few issues, not with him, but with my own life, which I won't get into. I'm not going to get into any of that. It's very personal and very disturbing. But, after I played with him, I only had, like, Spaceland and, um, Raven the Redwoods, and then my Xbox got banned for some shit. Now, I'm still friends with him to this day, but, you know, me and him had a few fights down the road, and... 2017, I saw he was on Messenger, and I didn't know how to get onto that. So he told me, and that's what inspired me to be a YouTuber, because he was a YouTuber too. Um, when I got out of the disturbing place I was in, my life changed after that. Before I, this was before I was a YouTuber. Uh, disturbing as it might be, I will not tell you guys. All I can just say is, if disturbing stuff does come into this video, just be warned that disturbing stuff will come. But, I'm gonna get into the topic now of why Lazy Gaming is such a good friend in my opinion. I honestly miss hanging out with you on Xbox and all that stuff, man. But after summer, I will be back on my Xbox. Probably not as much, though. Anyways, why do I think he's a good friend? Well, I, uh, once I got to know him a little bit better, he turned out to be a decent guy. But when I talked to him on Messenger, I was still kind of disturbed. But, as of 2020, when that happened, I was turning into a very positive guy. I told him not to do the disturbing thing, which I cannot say, and if you don't remember Lazy Gaming, that's okay. I'll just say down in the comments below. Um, but when I got out of the hospital that I needed help from, back in 2000. 
18, when I was turning into a very positive guy, he thought I was dead. Because I haven't been on the Xbox for a long time back then. Uh, when me and him played Infinite together, back in 2017, we were having a great, great time. And then World War II came out. Paul, the game, let me show you. As of today, this game is actually pretty good. And I'm sorry to say no, but I really do not like Vanguard. Not because it's not bad, but because Zombies is unplayable. I only like the campaign. Anyways. I just watched one of his recent videos. His vlog. A great job, by the way. I'm gonna now get into why I think he's a great guy. When I met this asshole, Lewis, um, back in 2017, I could tell he was a not-so-great guy. He always bitched and complained, and he, I think Lazy Gaming told me that when he met him, he didn't like him either. Honestly, Lewis does not really give a damn about America but only for himself. His friend Cody, in my opinion, is better than him. But Lazy Gaming beats both of them by y'all. Um... When... When me and him started talking again, I kind of helped him, well... I don't want to say with a few problems. But as me and him talked some more, he stood up for me a lot, and I'm sorry you had to do that. It made me look like a jerk in a way, and I, uh, I still feel bad about that. So I'm gonna apologize to you because you are a fucking awesome friend, Lazy Gaming 7780. I'm so sorry you had to stand up for me a few times, and when we had those fights when the first DLC map of Vanguard Zombies came out, I just want to say I'm very, very, very sorry about that. But, in all, if you guys come up across Lazy Gaming 7780 on Xbox or something, just, you guys will get to know. He's an awesome guy, and I thank him for standing up for me and for all the good times me and him had. Uh, when we played Infinite all over again, that was, that was some good stuff. Anyways. When I got to know that he was a very nice guy, me and him had a lot of great times. I am very sorry that I cannot talk to you at the moment, Lazy Gaming, but I promise that I will. In all, Lazy, Lazy Gaming 770, you guys should really get to know him. And the best part of all is that not only is he a great friend and an awesome guy at that, but, I like hanging out with him because whenever I'm bored, I don't know if you know this already, Lazy Gaming, but you kind of cheer me up when I'm feeling down. And, all the great times we had on my old account is still in my memories, man. I'm glad you think that's some good times, too. But, getting on the top of it again... Lazy game. It, I hope you've seen all these videos, man. It's really good. I just want to say that I am very, very glad to be your friend. And in all, you inspired me to be a YouTuber, and I thank you for that. Um, Lazy Gaming, I hope you are having an awesome summer, dude. As of now, I might be a successful YouTuber thanks to you, but
but more interesting content is on its way, I promise. And honestly, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about Lewis now and why he's such a bad friend. Oh, I got sneeze for a minute. <clears throat> why Lewis is such a bad friend is that he doesn't support Ukraine, he supports the Russians. He is a communist. Fucking commie piece of shit. But you know what? I know this might sound harsh, guys, but I really don't care what happens to him, because he, on, on Xbox, has made my life hell. And when, when I hung out with, um, Lazy Gaming, that one time, like, that one day when I learned he was a commie, man, that was some creepy shit. But I do want to also thank him, because I didn't know this would be, uh, happening. He told me about the Resident Evil 4 remake. And I thought it was going to be Resident Evil 9. Um... Yeah. Honestly, I'm still subscribed to you, Lazy Gaming. It's really, really nice to have you as a friend, man. I hope you feel the same way. Uh, but this has been a li really, really short video for, for Lazy Gaming. Of why he is such a great friend. Not to mention, he's really fun to play with, too. Like, on video games. He's fun to hang out with. You guys should really check him out. And, as always, I will see you guys in the next video. This has been... Masani Stuff with Funny Lent to Anime Theater. And, when we go down this elevator, I'll say... Have a great night, good afternoon, and good evening. I'll see you guys in the next one. And you too, Lazy Gamer. Looking forward to playing with you again, man, honestly. It's gonna be great. Alright, peace, y'all. Bye.